Welcome back to episode five of the Auto Cycle Build. Kind of want to give you guys a brief overview of all the parts that have come in thus far for the build. So right here we got our Kelly controller, KLS 14401. So it's a 144 volt max controller. We have our DC to DC converter, some U joints for the steering, bearings for the steering. We have our BMS right here with a battery readout voltage. These uh, little units are about balance boards and they interconnect, so it allows us to do our 36S setup. We got some polyurethane right there. We have our accelerator, a Hall Effect uh, pedal right here. Reverse neutral drive switch, some fasteners, orange heat shrink for battery cables. Got a big old fat main contactor right here, 400 amp. Not gonna draw nearly that much, but wanted to uh, make it a little bigger than not big enough. Got a bunch of uh, three quarter inch by three quarter inch square tubing, aluminum for a lot of uh, accessory items, tail light and all that. Uh, big old charger, 20 amp at 120 volts. And then this right here, from uh, Midwest Steel and Aluminum uh, is our bottom pan. So still no batteries and still no motor. All right, we're getting a bunch of rain right now from Hurricane Marco. You guys saw that in the intro. Uh, what we're gonna do is I wanna get this stood up so we can work on the belly pan and get that installed on the reverse trike. Go ahead and see how it spits up. So we got these two openings right here, so all we're gonna do is we're gonna take, make sure we accommodate for them. Alright, so we went ahead, clamped it in place. You can kind of see we need to shape these welds down just a hair. So this flushes out over here. And on this side as well. Now the bigger problem is down here. We have a quarter inch almost step. Thinking about putting a joggle in right here, all the way across. So that way it steps up to the height of a cross member and it seats flush.
didn't go as planned. So what I think happened was I ordered this T6 and I didn't anneal it. see what this looks like all together. Alright, since we did get that crack across here, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and tack this back up. those all spot welded up we're gonna take make even spacing for some uh, holes drill them out tap them and then bolt this all down we're gonna take these dividers measure out 5.875 We're gonna take this off and then we're gonna tap all these holes. And through the power of video editing. All right, so we got it all tapped. I'm just gonna put it on here so we can start working on our electronics. First thing, the biggest piece is our controller, motor controller. So right now, I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to mount this. It's got this periphery of bins right here, but I think I want to have this sitting flat on the aluminum plate and just have the fins exposed on the bottom side. That way, as if we're cruising along, it's getting airflow across all this, and then it's making good contact around the perimeter and soaking out into the aluminum here and out into the frame rail and everything. For now, let's go ahead and get it in here. Let's see how we have the best allocation of room. All right, let's leave this here for now and then see how everything else lines up. Put our mock battery back in just so we have an understanding of how much real estate we have to work with in this space.
Let's go ahead and drop this guy in, see how it fits. Contactor is in. And that concludes another episode of the Auto Cycle Build. See you guys on the next one.